It is Dave Spitz at California Strength, uh, architect of the Barbell Wad and, uh, and the Cal Strength weightlifting team. Just saw 16-2 announced. Uh, Dusty and I are kind of going to tag team this uh, again, and he's going to go over the finer points of how to plan out the workout and um, discuss the gymnastics portion while uh, I'll focus primarily on the barbell. So at first glance, looks like a barbell workout. Really isn't though. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be more of a workout that's grounded in uh, how, how good your grip strength is, how quickly your grip fatigues, uh, your overall fitness level, uh, your overall skill uh, across these movements, and then finally your strength uh, as these bars get heavier and heavier. One thing that we really encourage you to do on the lighter cleans, uh, no reason to do clusters or sets, just stick with singles. We want to make sure that your grip is preserved. Also, uh, really important that you only use the amount of energy necessary to lift the weight that's on the bar. So don't go gung-ho and, and try and move as fast as you can on these lighter weights. Stay within yourself, make sure you're, you're composed and that you're only using the energy necessary to lift that particular weight. Uh, as the weight gets heavier, you're going to want to move faster and faster. And that brings me to my final point, protect yourself. So if you do get past uh, a lot of these toes to bars and you do get to the heavier barbells, just make sure that you're not getting behind the bar uh, at the top of the pole, that the weight is, stays squarely over the ankles, and that you are finishing uh, each, each rep uh, so that you don't T-bone an elbow on a knee. Nothing is going to ruin your day like a fractured scaphoid or a sprained wrist or, or, or a lunate that dislocates as a result of T-boning an elbow on a knee. So stay safe, get those elbows all the way through. Good luck on this workout and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody's results. Hey, Dusty Highland here, 16.2. Uh, breakdown for you skill waters and barbell wad. Right, 16.2 is total bar double under and clean. Uh, four minutes uh, increments with a 20 minute time cap. We got 25 total bar, 50 double unders, and then ascending clean weights and reps descending. So we got 15, 13, 11, nine and seven and the weights are going up, as you guys all know. All right, so real quick, an easy general warm-up is up on the board. For all you kids out there, uh, you're gonna do three rounds, you're gonna do an easy 500 meter row, follow that with some just general air squats, sitting in the bottom of your squat, standing up, opening your hips up. Do some hollow open bar taps on the bar, you guys know what those are, and seven V-ups. After that, you're gonna mobilize, squat, do all your stuff, and then get into a skill warm-up where you're working on your uh, jump rope, one minute jump rope. We're gonna couple that with some short sets of toe to bar. Finally, barbell warm-up. Work on singles at the lighter weights, limiting uh, your reps, work on the receiving position in your squat clean, okay? Um, three attacks, three ways you can attack this workout based upon your level, your skill level in the process. Uh, our beginner. We're going to look to finish our first round or maybe get into the second round. That means short, effective sets of toe -to bar. Threes, twos, what have you. Get it done as quickly as possible. Same thing goes for your double under. Short, effective sets. We can do five. We're going to get after that. Okay, and then attack the barbell. You're going to be racing against the clock moving into the second round. Um, if you're an intermediate crossfitter, we're looking at probably three to four breaks on the toe -to bar. You're going to move into the double unders and hopefully they have a break and then be able to really cycle through quick singles on that, uh, on that first round of barbell, get into the second or third rounds. And then finally for the advanced athlete, we're looking to limit the breaks, move quickly, you're looking at timed intervals, looking at double unders unbroken and getting that bar and finishing the first couple rounds with about a minute and change to spare. Okay, there's two approaches to this, keeping your heart rate down and kind of riding the line at that four minute pace. You watch both of them go down with Dan and Bjorn. Um, I, you know, I'm of the opinion you kind of want to get ahead of the clock on this workout. Treat it as a 20 minute workout that you're trying to finish. So be more effective in terms of breaking your elements up. The elite athletes and some of the crossfitters you'll see do workouts that will be astounding. We'll do multiples on the cleans in the early rounds to really get ahead of the count and really push the pace. None of these work movements to the uh, heavier barbells are going to really affect their movement. And uh, look to see somebody to finish this workout in 18 and a half minutes.